At Breaking Ground, we believe that everyone deserves a home. And that's really all of our efforts stem from that core belief. So everything we do is centered around helping people achieve stability in housing or avoiding homelessness altogether. When we're out on the streets and we're working with them, the number one thing that we're trying to do is build a relationship of trust. As we persevere and come back day after day, sooner or later we win that person over. And when they come into our housing, what happens is, is, is magical. We build a community in our buildings and what you, what you find is that, that people rely on each other as well as on the teams that are working there for support and, and love. Technology is critical to pretty much everything we do. We have 19 uh, affordable and supportive residences in the city now. They're in the Bronx, they're in Manhattan, they're in Brooklyn, soon we'll be in Queens. That means that we have a lot of connections that need to be made uh, without being in person with folks. So technology is absolutely essential to keep records safely and securely. And, and so in order to keep that data and to be able to analyze it and to be able to report with it is critically important to our funding sources. It's critically important to our ability to take the temperature of how we're doing. We serve thousands of people and we start with them on the streets and we follow them in the Breaking Ground family from streets all the way to home into permanent housing. And along that way, we are collecting an incredible amount of information. That information can teach us what best practices look like. We need our systems to be able to, to talk to each other so that we can take a look at the life cycle of somebody from street to home and say, these are the interventions that really work. We believe that we could move the needle by expanding into standalone affordable housing to serve low income and at risk of becoming homeless uh, families with children. Right now, on a typical night, there are more than 60,000 people in the New York City shelter system. And that includes more than 20,000 children. So Park House in the Bronx offers 248 units. We delivered on, on more than half the building being uh, larger units with two and three bedrooms so that families had space to grow. So over the last several years, Breaking Ground is in the largest expansion that we have been in in our 20 now, eight, going on eight years of existence. We are building more buildings, we are expanding more programs, uh, we require more infrastructure. And then data prize came in uh, when we were just starting this expansion and we were just starting to look at our IT systems and, and, and that infrastructure. And to be quite candid, uh, data prize did an assessment for us to let us know whether we had anything to worry about. And all I can say is that after we met with DataPrize uh, to review the results of that report, I walked out and I looked at my director of administration and I said, that was one of the scariest meetings I've ever had. Uh, because what we learned was that we had multiple vulnerabilities. We were exposed in so many different ways. And so DataPrize came in and uh, just, start, just got in there with us and started working with us both on the legacy problems that we've had for years and we needed to either get rid of or improve or fix. And then simultaneously we're growing and we're developing new buildings and we need to connect all of those to our, our main systems. And they just, they, they, you know, I know that they're data prize, but to me, they're breaking grounders. They are in there with us, um, solving problems, if need be, seven days a week at any time of the day. And when we bring them an emergency, they're not going to stop until the, until the emergency is taken care of. So they are, they define the word partner and partnership. Uh, if you looked up that word in Webster, you'd find DataPrize. One of the most amazing things to see is, is to see somebody come into their permanent apartment for the first time. It's amazing to see how that begins a process of people really 
improving their own life. We have folks that we were working out on the streets with for years before we were able to get them to trust us and come inside. The difference in them from when they moved in to two years later after they have been in the Breaking Ground family and receiving services in everything from art therapy to yoga to gardening to cooking classes and they become part of the integrated Breaking Ground family, they, they're reborn.